Hey guys, Scott with Air Gunner Reviews. So I'm back with the AEA Harpoon and I thought we would do what's under the hood, take a quick look. Now I try to take a, uh, uh, the, the video and go around it inside, but it's very difficult. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to show you with a few pictures just so you can get a glance of what it looks like in here. There's quite a bit of engineering in, in this little guy and I, I can so appreciate it. Then we're going to talk a little bit about the firing pins and a workaround that I've had. Um, if you've watched any of my other episodes, I've had a problem not only closing it here with it hitting the, uh, the firing pins, and I'm going to show you how my barrel's out because that was one of the, the, uh, the comments are, well, your barrels are in, it's hitting the barrels. It, that's not the case. Anyhow, let's just take a look at a few of these pictures, then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. So you can see from the picture, the bolt springs, they're about one inch long. They seem to be pretty heavy duty, which is what I like. But then you see the other picture of it when it's cocked and, and the springs compress to about quarter inch. I mean, they really compress quite a bit. Now it's differs from the AEA Defender because uh, the AEA Defender is um, has one shared bolt spring in it and um, it and then it alternates the firing pins in this case you have the dual uh, bolt springs and dual bolts going into the firing bolts which uh, is quite unique and uh, and, I, and I even I did take a picture if you saw the the, the locking lever when you pull this back and it locks and uh, it's like one on top of the other And I think that's why you're getting such a, a light pull because it barely holds on. If you look at it again, you'll see I, I put it down. I think it was like left barrel uh, locking lever. So what I mean by that is when I pull it back, there are two levers, one on this side, one on that side. Uh, and when you close it, when I close it right now and I pull the trigger, this one will fire because if I hold it like this, and I fire it, and if I can open it back up a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, no, that didn't work that way. They both fire. Oh, it's on two. Sorry about that. Let me recock it. Okay. Now I'm going to hold it, and hopefully we can see this. Did I put it on one? Yep, okay. All right. Now, now you can't hear that. You can see it because I'm holding on to it, but you can see the number one firing pin uh, firing bolt right there just shot and then the second one all right so that's that's number two what I like about that is that they they're not shared like it is with the defender uh, where they're alternating everything on here is separate so it's like having two guns in 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 one which is pretty nice and I think that's what attributing to the light pull uh, that's what i wish they did with the defender is you could cock it so your finger is not the actual cocking mechanism which is basically what you have with the defender because the, the trigger pull is so hard this happens to be quite a light trigger pull so getting back to the bolt springs and the compression i did have a comment when i was going over my last video with the little hang-ups I had with the firing pins, and I still have, but I do have a workaround, which I'm going to discuss in a few minutes. Um, when you pull this back, you can see it's one inch, but then they compress to a quarter inch. So one of the comments I said, that it said is, why don't you just 
fully cock it and leave it cocked and put it on safety. This has been a long discussion with even gun owners. Should you leave your weapon uh, cocked and will it weaken your bolt spring? And quite honestly, I don't know. It, it may, it may not. I don't like to take the chance of it. My idea is to keep it loaded at nighttime when I may be sleeping and I may have to reach something very quickly. Yes, I would cock this and load it, put it on safety and have it on my bedside. So I just have to click that safety off and go. Uh, during the daytime when um, I have situation awareness, I probably will not do that. I would rather keep those uh, springs not compressed. Uh, and that was the reason why that I would rather uh, load it when it's not cocked and then close it. Now, this is where we're going to get to the point of what I was speaking about with the the uh, firing pins. Um, and and I, you know, I, I, I just want to point this out again. Just check your firing pins. Make sure that mine sticks out a little bit farther. Um, this is all you have for, now this is the um, AEA Defender, and this is when you pull it, that is what you have as far as a firing pin. So that's not a huge amount that that sticks in there. Let me show you um, side by side if I can. Okay, that's fully out, and that's far. So it, it goes out, uh, you know, past it, but not really a lot. Now, if you look at the firing pin, I've got a picture up. I'm going to show you the picture because mine just comes to the very edge of that. Now, I have stuck my um, both of these in here and I have shut it and it shuts okay. It does not fire it. And that is one of my concerns. It's more of my concern that somebody may get one, somebody who doesn't have any ideas their first time and uh, and they're gonna take this and they're, you know, they know they're not touching anything. They're gonna point it towards what they think is a safe wall. They're gonna load it and that pin sticking out. I mean, th these aren't always manufactured exactly every single time. I mean, I have one pin that sticks out further than the other. The other one just barely sticks out. So, and then they're gonna close it and it's going to fire and you think you're you know you're safe because it's firing into a wall but what's behind that wall <laughs> could be a child could be your wife it could be whatever so on the point of caution is why i mentioned that these you just have to be mindful of where these pins are at all times and uh, matter of fact pneumatic fanatic just put a posting that um, a person that he, he was helping his actually jammed into the uh, on his AEA Defender that this jammed and of course when you have a jam like this and you close up the Defender it will fire just just like that anyhow with that be said let's let's look at a workaround that I have figured out for it now I want you to know I do not have any any barrels in here so I don't want you guys to think it's the barrels what's hanging up and you may have this problem too, because if those, even if these, um, these pins are sticking out just a little bit, your air cartridge will get stuck on. All right, so I'm just gonna load two air cartridges in here and we're gonna show you. Okay, so what happens here? Okay, what's happening is it's knocking right on that firing pin. See, I'm slamming it pretty good but I'm not closing it. I don't want to do that any, many more times because I don't want to wear out my firing pin. Uh, so what's going to happen when you're doing that is you are going to, you know, slowly dull that firing pin down if you don't break it, depending on how much of that tip. My tip, like I said, seems to be sticking out more than probably uh, most will, at least hopefully. So the workaround about that, and this is what I am going to do when I do. So let me show you. I'm going to hold down this lever like this. Now you don't have to do this, it's just one of my ways. And then I'm going to, as you can see, these bounce. Okay, so what makes sense to me to get it past uh, knocking into your, your firing pins is to push this back and just, uh, sorry, it's gonna be hard for me to do it and show you. Push these down. 
then get it past, all right, and then push it down all the way. I'm there, and you don't even realize I'm there because it was so quiet. See, so again, all you have to do is push both of these barrels. Maybe you can just do it even with one finger. Just get it past enough and then close it up and you're not knocking into your firing pins. So that is my tip for today. That's all I wanna say in this episode. And uh, again, I, I do love this. I think it is a great weapon today. I'm hoping, as long as the weather stays right now, I'm hoping to get up to my brother's. He lives on a mountain. I'm hoping I'm going to get that there and I'm going to be able to shoot the crap out of it. At least shoot a few. I mean, I only have the four air cylinders and I plan on hopefully pumping them back up while I'm there and shoot a few more times. However, the weather, we've had storms every single mid-afternoon. Storms happen to have arrived and it's been hindering um, playing with this little guy. Anyhow, that's all I have to say for this episode. Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching and I will catch you next time. Have a great day.